The Homesick Club by Libby Martinez, answered by Rebecca Gibbon. Monica, whispers Hannah, where is Miss Jackson? Principal Rivera is standing in front of her class with a lady I never seen before. Class, says Principal Rivera, Mrs. Jackson had her baby on Saturday. This is your new teacher, Miss Shelby. Hannah and I look at each other. New teacher, I whisper. It is so nice to meet you, class, said Miss Shelby. Her voice is soft and slow, like her words are stuck together with syrup. Miss Shelby tells us that she's from Texas. She says this is the first time she has lived in a city full of skyscrapers. We laugh when she tells us about her first trip on the subway. Texas is far away. I am from Bolivia, even farther away. In Bolivia, there are lots of mango trees and green pines. A family of hummingbirds, una familia de colibris, lived in our backyard. My grandmother and I fed them sugar water every morning. Hannah is from far away too. She's from Israel. She says it's always sunny there. Not like here where the sun hides all winter. She brought photos to show and tell. Pictures of giant sand dunes and a tiny tortoise that live near her house. My day for show and tell is Friday. I wish I could bring a hummingbird, but I've never seen one here. I think all of the honking and noise probably scares them away. Mrs. Jackson told Miss Shelby that we're learning all about the stars. Miss Shelby tells us about the Big Dipper and Orion the Hunter. Where I live in Texas, she says, the sky was so big and wide, you could see the shapes of animals in the stars. The sky was big and wide in Bolivia, too. Sometimes I try to count all the stars. It's hard to see the stars here because of the tall buildings and bright lights. I wonder if Miss Shelby misses the stars like I do. After science, we have lunch in the cafeteria. Hannah and I always sit together. We are the homesick club because we miss where we used to live. We have made a special sign with a picture of a hummingbird and a tortoise. I miss hearing frogs go. Croak, croak at night, I say. Hannah laughs. I miss hearing the wind, she says. In the desert, it goes, ooh, like a whistle. Miss Shelby is standing by herself in the cafeteria. All of the other teachers are standing together and talking. It's hard to be new, even if you are a teacher. On Tuesday, Miss Shelby teaches us about the sun and the moon. My grandmother still lives in Bolivia, but we both see the same moon at night. Some people wish on stars, but I wish on the moon, la luna. Last night, I wished for something to take to show and tell on Friday. Maybe we should ask Miss Shelby to be a part of our club. I whisper to Anna at lunch. She's from far away too. Monica whispers Hannah. Miss Shelby is a teacher. I look at Miss Shelby and then back at Hannah. I'm gonna ask her, I say. I walk over and stand by Miss Shelby. She smells like flowers and summer. Miss Shelby, would you like to be a part of our club? Miss Shelby smiles and looks over at Hannah 
and our sign. Can you tell me more about the homesick club? She asked. You have to be from far away, I say. I'm from Bolivia and Hannah is from Israel. We talk about the things we miss. Do you miss all the stars you could see in Texas? Yes, she says. I miss seeing all those stars. I would love to join your club, Monica. Miss Shelby sits down at our table and tells us about other things she misses. I miss peach trees, she says. I miss a raccoon that used to peek through my kitchen window at night. And I miss hummingbird cake. Hummingbird cake, I say. Don't worry, Monica, she says, laughing softly. It's only called hummingbird cake because it's so sweet, like the flowers that hummingbirds drink from. It's the best cake in the whole wide world. I tell Miss Shelby about the hummingbirds that lived in my backyard in Bolivia. I think I have an idea for show and tell. I'm going to ask my mom to help me. After school on Thursday, my mom and I go to the grocery store on the corner. We buy bananas, pecans, cinnamon, and a can of pineapple. My mom lets me stir all the ingredients together in a big bowl. We watch my secret rice in the oven. When it's cool, we spread thick cream cheese frosting. Monica, are you ready for show and tell? Miss Shelby asked the next morning. I walk very slowly to the front of the class because I don't want to drop my surprise. I brought a hummingbird cake, I say. Some of the kids giggle, but I tell them it's Miss Shelby's favorite cake in the whole wide world. I tell them about hummingbirds that my grandmother and I fed in Bolivia. It's hard to move far away, I say. Miss Shelby comes and stands beside me. She closes her eyes and smells the cinnamon sweetness. Home, she says. She blinks and blinks. At lunch, Hannah and I watch Miss Shelby. She's talking with one of the other teachers. She smiles when she sees the new picture that Hannah drew on our sign. Miss Shelby will always be part of the homesick club. The Homesick Club by Libby Martinez, illustrated by Roberta Gibbon.